Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. I hope you are doing well. In this series of lectures, we are using tricks and mnemonics to understand complicated processes quite, quite easily. So here we are going to discuss about the photosynthesis and we are going to talk about the tricks to remember photosynthesis. And whenever we talk about photosynthesis, there are two steps that we need to discuss. One obviously is the light reaction and the second one which is required to use more mnemonics to understand is the Kelvin cycle. So we'll talk about both. First, we'll talk about the Kelvin cycle, how to remember Kelvin cycle. Then we'll talk about the uh, reactants and the products of the light reaction that are involved in the process of uh, next step that is the Kelvin cycle. So let's let's start uh, let's start the clock and let's begin to understand this process. So photosynthesis first Kelvin cycle. This is what we need to understand. And uh, the mnemonic is simple, easy. You know, we have a class teacher earlier and the teacher used to always, uh, when she comes to the class, they always want fresh oxygen. So say the open the doors, uh, so that open the doors and windows so that we can get uh, some fresh oxygen. And her name is, uh, was Rupa Ji. So we simply uh, put this in this mnemonic, Rupa Ji ne kaha, want some fresh oxygen. So basically Rupa Ji is saying that want some fresh oxygen. If you remember this, you will never forget the steps of Kelvin cycle ever. So uh, this is uh, like a representation of this. Rupa ji ne kaha, I uh, want some fresh oxygen. So again, we'll move on to this and uh, rearrangement. So again, we rearrange this sentence with capital alphabets that denotes the name of the enzymes uh, in, uh, involved and the process involved in the uh, name of the enzymes involved in the Kelvin cycle basically. Okay. So Rupa ji ne kaha want some fresh oxygen. So the first part Rupa ji ne kaha is involved in the Kelvin cycle and the want some fresh oxygen will be a part of the product of the light reaction. So first is this the Kelvin cycle is the Rupa ji ne kaha this one will give us Kelvin cycle. Rupa R U and then P. R U is a Rebulose 1 5 base phosphate. Its short form is R U B P. So R U is for uh, Rupa ji is R U is R U B P. Rebulose 1 5 base phosphate. Okay. And P A is for 3 phosphoglycerate. P A is the P G A. Phosphoglyceric acid or phosphoglycerate. That's what we write it as P A. So Rupa means Rebulose 1 5 base phosphate. R U B P. And then P A is for phosphoglycerate or PGA. Next, G, GI, G for glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate, G3P, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate, that is a part of GI. Okay, so Rupa G, Ne, there is nothing for Ne, then Kaha is something. So Rupa G is going to give us the information regarding uh, the involvement and uh, enzymes involved in the Kelvin uh, cycle, uh, like Rebulose 1 5 base phosphate, 3 phosphoglycerate. And then finally glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. These are the three intermediates, and there are enzymes involved. We'll convert the intermediates from one to the other. Okay, but these are the intermediates of the Kelvin cycle that you need to focus on. Ribulose 1 5 bis phosphate. The enzyme is the ribulose 1 5 bis phosphate uh, carboxylase oxygenase. Rubisco is the name of the enzyme that is involved there. I believe you know that. So we don't need to discuss much about Rubisco. Then 3 phosphoglycerate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate are the intermediates. So once you know the intermediates here, now I'll move to the light reaction products and it is want some fresh oxygen. Want some fresh oxygen. So want some fresh oxygen is, is going to give us the reaction substrates and products of the light reaction. So uh, we'll go like this, want some fresh oxygen and I'll write it W A N all capital some fresh and oxygen is with O. So what is W? W is for water, A is for ATP, N is for NADPH. Three important components that are produced, the product that are produced and obviously O for oxygen that is also produced. So these are produced after the light reaction that is water, ATP, NADPH and oxygen and we are going to utilize that. Uh, for the further process, NADPH is going to be utilized in the process later on in the Kelvin cycle uh, in order to complete the process of photosynthesis. That's the overall idea about photosynthesis. I believe you have a clear understanding of photosynthesis with the help of this particular mnemonic. If you understand this, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. And also watch every single video of this series 
to have a clear understanding of complicated biological processes with the help of mnemonics and tricks.